Hi everybody! In this video I would like to go back, way back, into the point where you found pyrography. Is it a video, an exhibition, a picture? And you are like, oh my god, this is so beautiful, what a beautiful art form. I would love to try this. How do I do that? Uh, what machine do I have to, to get? Um, how does it work? Well, if you are at that point, this video is perfect for you. Come with me into this uh, short uh, trip into the world of pyrography and at the end I am sure you will be able to start your very first project. So, come with me! So, you will need of course a machine to do your pyrography work and before I start talking about uh, the types of machines you have available uh, I will place three questions that I hope will help you to choose your machine. Have you ever tried pyrography? Do you feel that you have all the information you need regarding your choice? Have you questioned other artists about the machine that they use and why? Now, uh, pyrography machines uh, are divided into two main categories wire tip machines and solid tip machines. The solid tip machines also are divided into three categories uh, related to the temperature regulation, which are single temperature, dual temperature, and variable temperature. Now, with both machines you will also have uh, various tips that will help you regarding the work you want to do. So, you will have tips for decoration purposes, for shading and for line or calligraphy. After some time uh, doing pyrography, I am sure that you will have your favorite tips, like all of us. All these tips are uh, useful because they will help you accomplish better results and make it easier to work different textures and shapes. So let's say you have chosen your machine or are thinking about uh, the machine uh, you are getting and you will have to choose, of course, a design to start, uh, something that you like. My advice to you with the design choosing uh, is based on, on these lines that I leave here. The first one, don't do geometric designs. The second one, no portraits. The third, no feathers, no fur all of these uh, textures and types of work are more advanced. Um, you may feel frustrated and you may feel that pyrography is not for you, which is not true probably, uh, so don't start uh, with these. In my opinion, what works best uh, to start uh, with this new art form is flowers, a simple flower like four petals uh, or maybe even a, a stencil. Also make it simple and small. Start let's say by a coaster or something small. Uh, why? If you have a, a small work, something you can see finished uh, fast um, it's more fulfilling uh, than something very big that you are taking so long to do and then you feel frustrated because it never ends and it's complex. So make it simple and small to start.
In this uh, third topic, I would like to, to tell you where to get the design. You have the machine, you have decided uh, what you will burn first, and how do I get the design if I don't know how to draw uh, good enough, or maybe I just want a ready-made design, uh, just to skip that part and start wood burning. So, Pixabay is a very good source. It's still the source I use for my work because uh, if you want to sell your work you will have to consider uh, copyright issues and Pixabay is a copyright free source so it's good to start and uh, for more advanced uh, pyrography artists and the second one if you're not selling if you're just starting you're doing this for yourself or to as a gift for a friend of yours well then Google has an infinite source of designs uh, black and white uh, illustrations vector you can choose anyone you like and the fourth topic is where to burn. I will leave this information because I think it's helpful. I have done a pyrography on paper, uh, which is very usual to do, uh, on leather, a lot of people do this also, on fabric and on wood, of course. Uh, the paper, leather and fabric uh, I would say that I wouldn't start by those, I would start by uh, wood. Just because I think it's easier. Paper it's not very different, uh, but leather and fabric are uh, more uh, sensitive to heat, uh, so I would leave those two uh, to try later. So, uh, how to choose the wood you are going to use for your work? Usually, uh, birch and uh, basswood work the best. Because they are uh, light colored, uh, they have very little veins, and they are soft. Uh, they are easy to work, uh, the contrast is really good and so I would advise those two to start. You have also a birch plywood that you, it's very accessible, it's cheap and you can get those boards with various thickness fairly cheap and in many sizes. I would advise to stay away from pine, at least if you don't know how it was dried, uh, where it comes from. And now how do I get the design to the wood to start burning? I will uh, leave you two methods. Uh, one of them is really easy. I am sure you all have a soft pencil, let's say from 2B to 4B. You print your design in a regular sheet of paper and on the back of your design you fill the back uh, with one layer or two layers uh, of the pencil. And then that side would be uh, facing the wood, the side you covered with pencil and just trace the design and it will go to the wood. I usually use a red pen, a rollerball pen, just because that way I can see where I have already traced. You can use any color you like, green, yellow, as long as you can see uh, what you have already traced, it's fine. And uh, you can use also graffiti paper that is basically the same thing as adding one or two layers of pencil on the back of your drawing. 
uh, you place the graphite paper between the wood and the sheet with your design and trace over and it will trace to the wood also. I will not advise you to use carbon paper just because carbon paper has uh, chemicals that will be released during the pyrography work when the heated tip touches the wood and the, the carbon uh, so try to use the pencil which is always the best option or a graphite paper so after finishing your pyrography work you have to protect it I use one coat of universal fixative all over the work then let it dry then apply one coat of sealant let it dry and then three coats of acrylic varnish and let it dry between coats my advice to you is that you apply at least the acrylic finish so there you go I hope this video was helpful and I hope that now you are completely ready to start this beautiful journey that is pyrography and so go ahead what are you waiting for start your first project thank you so much for watching and I hope this video helps you start it's a beautiful journey see you in the next video